Wherever you go, you're in for a treat. From Virginia to Maine, you'll find cuisine that can't be beat. Should you choose Boston or Manhattan chowder, tell them to bring on the feast. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the east. So pull up a chair, get ready to dine. The Chesapeake Bay soft shells they say are simply divine. It's time to let go, let your palate wander. Tell them please bring on the feast. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the East. Welcome to Great Chefs of the East, a celebration of regional cookery featuring some of the leading chefs from the East and Northeast. This time from Boston, an appetizer by Jasper White, chef owner of Jasper's. From New York City, an entree by Elaine Sayak, dean of the French Culinary Institute, and from La Cheval d'Or in Jeffersonville, Vermont, Chef Yves Labay presents Dessert. One of Boston's most popular restaurants is Jasper's, whose inventive menu offers an impressive array of modern New England dishes. New Jersey native Jasper White grew up on a farm where he developed a lifelong interest in good cooking. His book, Cooking from New England, reveals this, as does his appetizer, salt cod cakes. Okay, so we're going to make uh, salt cod cakes here, and the way we go about this is we start with a pound of salt cod, and uh, the best way to handle salt cod is to soak it. I find for a day, sometimes even two days, the important thing is to change that water as you need it. And salt cod is a very important staple to New England. Less important than it used to be, but uh, we still like the flavor of it. We still cook with it a lot. So after you've soaked it for the proper amount of time, uh, what you do is you take it out and you put it into a shallow pan. And then cover that pan with cold water. Cover the fish. and put it on a high heat. Now right next to it, you'll see I have a pound of fish and two pounds of potatoes, uh, peeled, cut in half, and we're boiling those till they're tender. So while that's cooking, I'm just gonna chop up a little onion. And for this, we'll use a half of an onion. Then we're going to put this onion in some whole butter, about four tablespoons, and put that on the heat to cook. Okay, now we're checking the salt cod, and as you can see, uh, the salt cod came in uh, several pieces, and this, this is piece is much larger, it's not ready yet, but these smaller pieces are cooked through and the idea is you just want to barely cook it through because if it's cooked too much it'll become stringy and tough. So we'll just remove these smaller pieces of cod and we'll give this larger piece right here another minute or so to cook. Now if it looks like too much butter it's not because this is going to go into the blend and it's there for flavor and for richness also. Now on this thicker piece of cod, just take a knife or take a fork and just lift it in here and, and check inside and make sure that's cooked all the way through or just barely cooked through, which, which this is. So now I'm going to remove this entire piece from the water.
Okay. Now you've got the salt cod. And what you, what you do at this point is uh, you want to break it up a little, flake it. And as you're going through it, if you see any sinews or pieces of skin, by all means, pull those out and set them aside. But this is nice, clean salt cod. So have that fish flaked up and ready for all the rest of the ingredients. The boiled potatoes are put through a food mill. And there's nothing better than these old-fashioned food mills for certain jobs. Now, after you've got all of it through, just get the, the rest there. Combine these two. With four beaten eggs. Dry mustard. Some uh, freshly chopped parsley. A few dashes of Worcestershire, this is optional. And if some people want to, uh, you could even put a little cayenne or Tabasco in that. And then fresh white breadcrumbs, just to help bind it up. Here. Finally, the stewed onions and butter are added. OK, now we've got the mixture uh, well mixed. And what we'll do is we'll make little uh, balls of this, about the size that we want to make our cakes. We'll put line it on a pan. We'll set this in the refrigerator, let it set up, and then we'll come back to it later. You can grate it as, the fish into as cooked, big pieces as possible. Potato. They don't need a lot of uh, extra, they don't need any extra seasoning. So take your fish cake, leave it high, put some potato on, the, on both sides, and then loose, then put it into a pan. I've got a pan hot with some fresh peanut oil and put them in there to fry. Maple cured smoked bacon from Vermont will accompany the fish cake. Okay, look at that beautiful golden brown color. That's what I'm looking for. Final garnish is greened, warmed in some of the bacon grease. And I'm going to add some greens. This is frise that I'm adding to the pan. Now at this point, you really need to stay right with these greens. A little bit of cider vinegar, a little bit of salt, and pepper. And now the idea is to warm these greens through, but not to cook them down to the point where they're completely wilted. Cakes, lean them up on the, on the hot greens.
time to let go, let your palate wander. Tell them to bring on the feast. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the east.